remarkable associations we have, and this whole thing is a vast teamwork. A remarkable composer from the Netherlands named Merlein Twolfhoven, and I'm pronouncing his name wrong, I'm sure, and his associate Marike Peters have actually gone into the refugee camps in Syria where the refugee children are stationed for a while. They try to protect, we try to protect the children and the children are in great need, but they also are musical, all of them. And one of them, Ayam Zanka, that we uh, have, has read a poem that we will now play for you. Just a very brief little poem, and it has inspired uh, th all three of our composers sitting here. Can we hear Ayam Zanka? Thank you. Now, I would like to bring our three composers up here. Madeline Schmidt, Anais Reno, Chichi Ezequena. Now, before we talk to them, I think you guys would probably agree you'd like to hear a little bit of a translation. This is a translation of what you just heard. Once a boy had a father and a mother. Now he is an orphan and the people don't care about him. He is looking for a place to sleep. Suddenly he slept on the pavement. He dreamt of a piece of bread and woke up terrified. He heard strange and astonishing noises. He looked to his right and he found a family totally miserable. They were looking for their lost children. This is our poem so far. And Madeline, this inspired you to write a piece. Tell us the title of it and how it, just a word or two about how it came about. Okay, my, the title of my piece is The Struggle. When I recently heard a poem written by Syrian refugees, I was touched. The sentiments I felt compelled me to rewrite their story. I wanted to recreate the feelings associated with their struggle the struggles of trying to get back up and to continue a difficult journey, but also the triumph of completing a hectic voyage. This is my piece, but this is also their story. Beautifully said, Madeline. Stay up here and so we can watch you watch your piece. This is really a wonder. Madeline has been in our program for how long? Uh, six or seven years. Wow. See, she's, she's been around with the, with the VYC, or the Very Young Composers. Madeline, a struggle. Thank you. 
Steve Mellon. Look at that. Get better and better. Now we have a very special event here. I'm going to let this is Anais Reno, you just were introduced to. Anais, come on up here. Let's get this. You, you would like to sing into this mic on a stand, right? Would that be better? But first, I just uh, is there anything that you'd like to say about the, uh, about the way this piece came about? Um, so we were emailed these poems by these children, and I admired how I am. He was so he was so sorrowful for all those people who he was writing about, and he was saying, "I'm sorry, and I have pity for you because you are suffering right now, and all these people are dying." And I really admired that. And my piece is basically a response to that and kind of translating the translation you just heard. Great. Anais has written uh, several songs for us, a number of pieces. You had a piece played by the whole Philharmonic, didn't you? You remember what that piece was? Chirping Birds. Chirping Birds. And you were like nine years old or something like that. Now you're a ripe old, what, 11? Or <laughs> 11 years old. <laughs> Amazing. Okay. can't say 